guys, I'm Chris Bowden, and welcome to the Geek Group. We are here once again under Kanye Mountain with a new guy. You're a new guy. I am new. This is Dave, also known as General Badass. So you got to tell the story on the General Badass. Where, where does that come? Because I, I heard it goes all the way back to like Commander Badass. Right. It actually started as Captain. Captain Badass. Right. <laughs> and it just didn't seem to work. So over the years, people were like, "Well, we're going to promote you," and I didn't argue. So now you're all the way up to General Badass. Right. Okay. Well, I've been called know. Captain by the crew for years, so it's just, it's a thing. You should work on that. I, I'm fine here. It works. It's, it, we do it from the Star Trek thing. So you guys are more Army ah, Infantry. Right, right. We're more naval in the Geek Group ranks. But, you know, I've got to do a video on Geek Group rank and rate, um, where we're going to talk about these which might be something that you want to do as own. We've got these for uh, rank. We've, we've even got gold magnets, which is a thing. But that's a different video. We're going to do a whole thing right there. But when, you want to do the, when, you, when I do the rank video, you can come be the guy in it. It'll be fun. Sounds good. Now, you were asking about ferrofluid. Right. And, and we were actually here tonight to do a totally different video. Yep. But you were asking about ferrofluid, and, well, I just happened to have just got a brand new turkey baster. And I'm a fun guy. Fun party. So we've got shiny new glassware here, and I happen to have a liter of ferrofluid. And if you've gotten online and priced ferrofluid, you'd understand how serious a thing that is. This stuff is mm. stupid expensive. So I want to show you what ferrofluid is. So I'm going to take, I'll, I'll use a turkey baster so everybody can see. Ferrofluid. It's a fluid, well. Is a viscous black liquid. Okay? Mm -hmm. And it's, well, it's actually a very thin, oily black liquid. But as you can see, now that turkey baster is empty, and it just, you know, it, it blacked out the whole thing. So, that's an attractive sound. Problem is, I can't really easily pick it up in here. It stains everything it touches, and it's famous for making one hell of a mess. It also stains human skin really well. Good to know. It's, these are important things to be aware of when dealing with ferrofluid. Is, oh yes, oh yes, it does indeed stain human skin. So I'm going to set this aside down here. And then immediately put the cap back on this. Okay? Cap's on there. We've also got those for handling it, which would probably do better than that. But it, right. very manly. Like, this is for turkey. Just kind of neat. That's why there's no hole in the end. It's just a spike. Mm -hmm. So that's ferrofluid. Now on its own, it's not terribly impressive. But if I reach, that was dumb. If I reach behind me and I grab this gnarly magnet, mm -hmm. this is one of the cup magnets from Amazing Magnets. We do a lot of really good videos. For them. They're fun. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna set that way over there. In fact, I'm gonna set that way over there. I'll put this down. Okay. I'm going to line this up just right. Okay, that's where we want to be. Now, fluid. You can see it on the close-up camera up there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring this down slowly. Watch the fluid. I'm really glad I knew that that uh, stained human skin, otherwise I'd be poking it. You'd be poking it? it? Yeah. You can poke it. It won't, it, it's, it won't kill you or anything, but you're going to have a brown finger for a while. Wow. Well, now you've touched it. You can play with it. If you, here, watch this. If you lift it up a little, mm -hmm. the nubs get bigger. Those are the lines of magnetic flux. And it looks solid, but it's actually still totally fluid if you touch it. Yes. It yeah. is. Isn't that neat? Yeah. It's, it's just cool. It's just one of those things that... You just sit here every, all day, every, Yeah, you just you got to play with this. It's, it's neat stuff. We're going to be doing a lot with ferrofluid. Um, but you can take... Here, now that we've done that. I'm going to draw some off. Let's see if I can do this without making too much of a mess. There's no way I can even draw it up in there. So we'll try it with this. Yeah, okay. And then 
you always immediately put the top back on. I think this is the longest I'm getting good at this barrel float stuff. It's the longest I've ever gone without wearing any. Now you put that back on and, and you can see immediately there's there's the spikes. Mm -hmm. And it'll move. And now we're down so low where because of the way the cup magnets work, they they've got this is the actual magnet, mm -hmm. and then there's an insulator layer, right. and then the the steel shroud which focuses the magnetic energy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're still not quite there. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw some more. Off. Before you pick anything up in the lab, always know where you're going to put it down. This is like a rule. Uh -huh. It's just about, what, a teaspoon in the bottom there? Maybe. Now we set that down. Oh, wow. And, and the more I pull out, now we're down low enough where I can probably pour it in or get any left. I've poured it all back in the jar. Do that on the table. Hand me a couple of paper towels, please. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. See, that's like two drops does all that. It's anything this touches gets very messy fast. Wow. Right. So those are going to trash for it. Okay. Smooth bottom, right? Mm -hmm. It's just neat. Mm -hmm. As as you go down, it starts from that's zero. That's just at rest. You go down, and they start to form. Mm -hmm. and it starts to pull them to the middle. And then as you go down further, it changes direction. Right there, and they start to go out to the edges, where the energy is focused. Wow. That you're good for hours. You're, you're just like, wow, hey, that's cool. So, yeah, check it out. Because while you're doing that, I have a present for you. Uh-oh. I do. Uh-oh. This, because this is very messy. This, right. is, this is hard to play with. This is, it's stupid expensive. It's a nightmare. Right. Now you'll notice that doesn't contaminate the glass. It doesn't mark the glass as it moves around. Huh. But that little ball is indeed ferrofluid. Now it's a little bit much of a magnet to play with it, so it comes with a little magnet. Wow. Isn't that neat? Yeah. That is called the Nano Drop, and it's by a company called Concept Zero which is run by a really cool Geek Group member named Nikki Nada. Mm -hmm. And this is a present for you. Thank you. So, thank you for coming and making a video with us. Thank you for having me. I'm going to get this for us. Now, don't open it. Don't drink it. Oh. And when you're not using it, put this on top. Don't, don't leave that on the side, because if you leave it like that, it will stain. If you leave it there for like days, it'll stain it. So just leave yeah. that on top and it's fine. Wonderful. Thank you. And that's called a nano drop. And you might want to clean the ferrofluid off the side from your finger. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Alright. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. That's yeah. General Badass. You can say it. You can. Well, I'm General Badass. Okay. He's not. <laughs> You've been watching the video. <laughs> been. We'll see you next time. Have fun.
This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.